If you've been following our page, you know that Evie and Yoshi just moved into a new home and we're all very excited. Although not everyone was excited right away, and I've been getting lots of questions asking how Yoshi handled the move, and so I figured I'd just make a whole video talking about how the process went for us. So I brought them with me to the new house in the morning while the movers were moving stuff in, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So I had them in our bathroom while things were going on, and Evie loved it. She was exploring the bathroom, I think she took a nap, it was great. Yoshi went into this green cave and did not come out for like 14 hours. He decided that was his safe place, it smelled like home, it was comfy, and he felt secure there, so he just stayed there the whole day. Evie, on the other hand, totally undisturbed by this move. She thinks everything new and changing is just great and wonderful, and she had the time of her life. She desperately wanted to leave the bathroom so she could explore the rest of the house too, but they had to stay in here till the movers were done. She was such a nice sister though, always checking on her brother and making sure he was okay. Then, after all the excitement was over, I opened the door and let her out to explore. Hi! Do you like your new house? She's so brave, I love it. You are such a good kitty. Hi! You're such a good girl. I know, there's so many places to go. She's like, where do I start? <laughs> She then spent a good chunk of time walking all over, examining her new kingdom, and just having such a great time. It was honestly really fun to watch her because she is so brave and nothing makes her scared. She just was full send, this is my new house. After she had done her exploring, we went to go check on Yoshi and he had still had no progress. He also hadn't eaten since the morning and I could tell he was hungry because he was licking his lips and kind of acting like he wanted food, but he was not interested in his wet food at all. Evie was though, so we had to keep taking her away from his food because she already had her dinner. She eventually gave up trying to eat his dinner and then stood watch at the door while we all patiently waited for him to come out. Yoshi doesn't normally eat when he's scared or stressed, but usually he's very food motivated, so we thought it might entice him. There were a few times where he did inch out a little bit and we thought he was going to come out, but it ultimately did not work. So they went through a move recently. A year and a half ago, we actually moved to a different apartment. And that time I had them stay in the old place until everything was moved over and then I moved them to the new place. And that kind of freaked them out. Obviously any move would freak out cats, but Yoshi really did not handle that move well at all. So I thought maybe let's try this one a different way. So this time I took them in the morning and we waited for all the stuff to be moved over and then I let them out. And so they were at the new house all day rather than watching their stuff leave the old place all day. And this way was honestly just as traumatic to him. So I don't really know if one way is better than the other, but I tried both just to see if we can get a little improvement over the last time we moved. This one was definitely more dramatic though because moving in from our apartment to a house was a huge change and the last two apartments we moved between were extremely similar so they felt more familiar than this to him. Anyway, I really wanted him to feel better before bedtime because it was starting to get late. Evie and I sat in the bathroom with him all night, patiently waiting and cheering him on just to see if there was any hope that he was going to come out. And then finally he decided it was time to take that brave first step with the support of his family sitting right next to him. I was so proud, but I didn't want to spook him because I knew any slight noise would just send him right back in there. Evie was so excited too. She had her brother back and she couldn't wait to show him his new house. She stayed beside him and made sure he felt safe and comfortable. And then she led the way to exploration. And he begrudgingly followed. <laughs> He was definitely overwhelmed with all the space and being unfamiliar with his surroundings. And we also realized that he was not a fan of our hardwood floors. They make a lot of creaking noises, which were really scary to him at first. Our apartment had vinyl flooring and carpet, which were silent. This was definitely a big change and spooked him. The first room he explored was my fiance's office. He seemed pretty comfortable and confident in there because all of the furniture was very familiar to him and kind of placed in a similar way that it was in the old apartment. I was honestly so proud of him, the fact that he came out willingly and was already exploring the first night, and I was just so relieved. This was huge progress from him being scared in the bathroom in his little green cave. Jumping back to Evie, she is as happy as she's ever been, and she's always happy. 
My fiance and I were joking that these first few days after the move were like the best days of her life. She was just utterly elated living her best life. She's obsessed with adventure and exploration and all these new exciting places and things were making her so happy. She wanted to explore all the cabinets and the closets, everything. And yes, don't worry, I cleaned these shelves before putting dishes and stuff in them. <laughs> Another thing that was really exciting for her was there was lots of bugs to kill. Our apartment had like zero bugs and she loves to hunt, so this was great. Moving back to Yoshi, as you could probably guess, we had a lot of sleepless nights. The first few nights, this is what it sounded like all through the night, and it just broke my heart. There are a few things that did kind of help keep him sane during the first week though. The first is this little rug we had in the hallway. Like I said, he did not like our floors and this is one of the first rugs we had out and it just made him so happy. Next is this L-shaped cardboard scratcher that one of our sweet followers sent to him for his birthday. This scratcher helped him tremendously. The amount of times he took naps on here and felt safe on here, it honestly made this move so much easier on him. So thank you so much, you know who you are. About a week after we moved, he started to feel playful again. He's not normally the most playful cat, so it was really exciting to see him want to play with the wand toy. And I think that experience made him realize how much space there is to run around, because the next day he was just sprinting up and down the hallways getting the zoomies. This made me so happy because I could tell he was finally having fun and was excited about the new space. And Evie loved it too because she had someone to run around with and play with and so they were both just having fun. Then a couple days later our new rugs got delivered and you guys know how that played out. His zoomies were off the charts. I'm not even joking when I said he was Tokyo drifting all night. Like I heard him in the middle of the night just running around on these rugs. And that was definitely the turning point for him. After that night, he seemed totally back to normal and happy. I guess the moral of this story is buy your cat's happiness with rugs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he just takes a little while to warm up to new things, but now they're both thriving and doing great. I think what made a huge difference also is having his sister there to help him. I think without her bravery and encouragement, it would have been so much harder. He's also seeked lots of encouragement in us. It's been a couple weeks since we've moved and he is very clingy. He has not wanted to be alone for more than like three seconds and follows me from room to room, but I wouldn't have it any other way because I'm just so happy that he's doing okay now. I'm incredibly proud of him and I'll happily take all the cuddles he has to offer.